Podcast. You're listening to the Cat Cast, a weekly podcast from the staff you love to listen to each weekday on 94.3 Cat Country. Killian Hart and Jordan J. Now, here they are talking about life, love, and everything mid Missouri. Yeah, you bet. And, you know, one thing that brings us all together, I think, is TV. We all watch TV. Oh, oh absolutely. True. Some yeah. of us far too much. But <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Kevin. That's enough. Topic for another another day, but so uh, what are some of the shows that have really just brought you in, you know, just sucked you in, and you're like, man, I can't get enough of this one, something you're really watching a so lot of. recently, yeah. and, I, and I, yeah, I've completed it now, and I, I just started, I, I was like, I heard everyone talking about this show, I'm like, what is this show? I gotta watch it. Reacher. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh Love. man. Love. Reacher. Is so that good. an amazing Alan show? Alan Richardson. Yes. Oh my God, that guy is like a he's, he's like, a, a behemoth of I a know. man. The, one of the first, one of the episodes, you know, like he took his shirt off. He's like, you know, ripped. I said oh to my, my gosh, wife, I, I go, know. man, he is ripped. And she goes, well, it takes a lot of work to do that. I go, oh no, I didn't mean I want to do that. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just admiring it. Yeah, we haven't watched the second season yet, but mm. the first season's incredible. Yes. Well, you need to watch the second I know, season. I know. So it's the really whole, good. The whole premise of is this guy, I, we're not giving you anything we talk about today. We're not going to give you a spoiler. Don't worry. But Kevin probably will, though. No, I will not. But he's uh, he lands in this small town in Georgia the first season. And uh, they got this these police. And he's just he's he's accused of a crime. That's all. He's there to clear his name. Exactly. Yes. He gets yeah. wrapped up in it. Yeah. He, he just comes here. He's like a kind of a drifter. He comes wandering into town right. and he's like, why did I come here? Because now I'm involved in something insane. Mm-hmm. And the second season, it's a lot more look into his background, his military background Definitely, and the people yeah. he hung around. Okay. It's, it's just really, it's a, it's a riveting show. Stop you you spoiling did. it for me, Kevin. Yeah, I, I know. Stop it. You get not, to know more about I, him in I, the I second said, season for sure. You would see more by looking it up on Wikipedia than you okay. would from, from what I'm. From what I'm seeing, uh, I was just telling Aaron, just watch Nyad. Nyad with um, that's a movie. Yeah, on uh, I want to say Netflix. was it Netflix? It was Netflix. Yeah, and, and, and what's funny is I told Kevin about this movie like six weeks and ago. I didn't remember at all her t- talking about and it. He comes in, oh my gosh, I watched this most amazing movie, <laughs> and he's telling me, and he's like, it's called Nyad. I go, yeah, I told you to watch that like six <laughs> weeks ago. I gotta watch you it. Did? I do. It's, it's and that's Benning and Jodie Foster, Foster, and uh-huh. it's it's a true story of this woman who, uh, her she, her whole thing is to swim. From the Florida Keys to Cuba, never mm-hmm. been done before. Yeah, and it's the whole. I mean, it's and again, I don't want to give anything away, but it's just so so good. Yeah, and even the science behind it of of how it would have to be how, done. Yeah, oh, how yeah. it's going to happen because basically she does it nonstop. Right. Yeah, which you, is just incredible. Much, like, it, and the know, rules talk about being in shape. How in shape you have? Like swimming is I mean, so demanding yeah, on well, your body. She's, she's all, see the thing is she had attempted it early in her life when right. she was younger. She's sixty years old now in this thing. Mm-hmm. So, is this based on a true story? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. But th- it's amazing the rules too for these. Um, what's the what kind of swimmer? Marathon swimmers. You can't touch the boat. Right. Nobody can touch you. Oh wow! So <laughs> they otherwise, have to, it doesn't count. Right, and they have to feed her like with a tube, and it, it's it's amazing. Yeah, they feed her like this kind of like almost kind of like a Powerade gel or something. You know, <laughs> while like she's something. swimming. Yeah, yes. yeah. So like sakes. like a tube is kind of like thrown out in the water. She grabs it and puts. Now, it Now wait a minute! I there. thought you weren't supposed to swim and eat. Is <laughs> <laughs> that what they always tell you? Well, <laughs> I, think, I think that's why the stuff it's like gel based. So yeah. Have to wait fifteen would you minutes. Call that a meal? I wouldn't call it a meal. No. You have to wait fifteen like, minutes before yeah. you go back in the pool. It's like astronaut <laughs> you know? food. It's like gloop. Yeah. But <laughs> it's it calories. deals with the, the the dangers of sharks and everything. Because I mean, yeah. you know, it, it's just really, really, really good. Yeah. So. Uh. So. I was stuck on and just finished the second season of Love on the Spectrum. It's a reality show. Mm -hmm. And it's about people on the autism spectrum that decide they want to date. And it's kind of what you expect. I mean, because there are some people that have autism. You would never know. And then there are some people that obviously have different quirks and different oh, yeah. mannerisms, and it's very obvious. Are they dating other people on the spectrum? A lot of them are, yes. And some are dating so people who are not on the spectrum. So a lot of times they'll have like speed dating, and it's set up for people with autism because you know it's hard for them to meet other yeah. people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know for people to understand and so on and so forth. And you know, one girl talked about how you know, I, well, I tried online dating, and you know, as soon as they. They'd find out I'm on the spectrum, then I'd never hear from them again, and so yeah. on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it it is the kind of show that I mean, I'll, you'll find yourself laughing because sometimes they'll do something that's so 
socially awkward. You're just kind of like, oh, you know, but then you immediately feel bad because you're like, okay, wait a minute. You know, that it was just a very, for them, a natural response to yeah. something that we wouldn't respond the same way. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. And then, then you'll find yourself crying. Like I, I kept like crying for this one guy. I'm like, so what if James wears capes and he likes to collect swords? I just want him to find one. Well, he's like 35 years old, and that's like all he wants. He just he wants to find a girlfriend. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. really his invested. Parents are in their, I am. But, his parents are in their 70s, you know, and they worry about yeah. what's going to happen to him once they're gone. You know, all, all I can picture is Rain Man speed dating. You know. Four minutes to Wapner. I have to get. I have to be done here. Four minutes to Wapner. You know. <laughs> well, like, see, and th- and not everybody, you know, has. I don't know if you'd call them ticks or, or yeah, what, like right. that. But nobody's brilliant. And that they're not all brilliant or math whizzes or anything either. Okay, it's not based off of Rain Man. No, Kevin. I know, no. but I'm just saying not everybody's he, a math lead. But he was an example of something like that. I, I am He's, saying that right, but, but no, a lot like this one girl. She owns her own animation studio. Right. I'm like, I can't that's remember incredible. what I had for breakfast. Yeah. And here she's got, and like her, that's her thing. She's ambitious. So right. she wants the guy she finds to be ambitious too. But what's too. her spectrum thing? And it's, she's on the spectrum. But like, well, like how does it manifest itself? Well, I mean, it's not so much a man of, for, okay, I would say for her, she's very blunt. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like blunt. I don't think you'd like this, Kevin. Well, I don't know. It's like, I don't like people who beat around the bush. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> if you got a problem, you tell me. Yeah. Talk to me, man. I want to be. Do- I'm from Jersey. Remember? I just like. No, are you? <laughs> we had no as idea. Just, as he's wearing a Philadelphia Eagles shirt Eagles. right now. He's wearing his Eagles gear. But you know, he'll. Um, you know, she'll find she'll go on a date with somebody, and you know, oh well, what are you doing? What, what do you do for a living? Oh, I work at a copy store, or I do this, yeah. or I do that, and she's just kind of like you can just see it on her face. She's like, nope. Not, not yeah, not that's work, not. It's, you know? it's, I don't. I don't want. She you wants that way. same level yeah. of ambition and drive that she has, and you know, it, it's hard to find somebody that who who you like their the same interests and so on. But it's so hard to find somebody that's going to have the exact same mm. drive or work ethic, or you know what I mean. I saw the trailer for this. I I, I have it actually on my on my like watch it, list. It I got so I got to watch it. It looks really good. But like this one part, you know, talking about like kind of like a laugh out loud loud moment. This one guy. He was doing the speed dating thing and, you know, they give you a card and you mark yes or no. Like, yes, you'd like to be um, talking to them further. Mm. You know, and if they check yes, then they'll give each other your information. Blah, blah, and blah. they could go like on like second. Right. Well, he's marking no on some of these <laughs> girls in front of them. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, oh, my God, no. Kind of laughing. And, and then the producer kind of goes, hey, are you are you marking in front of them? table then mark it and he's all like dang it i knew i was gonna mess it up but it's like you know he just he didn't yeah, know i didn't know, you know? Didn't they? yeah 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 i think he thought honestly they couldn't see what yeah. he was doing but oh yeah it was very gosh. obvious and That's... you can see the look on some of these girls faces like did he just mark no on me <laughs> <laughs> he marked no but yeah no it, it's a very i mean you'll you will okay if you're anything like me you're gonna find yourself cheering yeah. oh yeah oh because sure of I, would, I would everybody think, yeah. wants to find oh absolutely somebody who loves them so yeah. love on the love on the spectrum love on the spectrum Interesting. highly recommend Interesting. I, yeah like i said it's on my watch list i, mm. I gotta watch it i'll tell you another really good show yeah. on netflix by the way if you all haven't seen it it's called beef i've been you've been telling i've i've this. been ta- talking about this a little bit it's okay. so good so it's got um oh i'm trying to remember steven young from uh walking dead he okay. played glenn he on the walking dead yeah is it ali wong yes and ali wong yes yes and um, so basically the the premise, and not that without giving too much away, it's like they get into a road rage incident and they take it like really far. Like they end up like they, they go so far as like they figure out who they are. They interject themselves in their lives oh. and try to mess up their lives Man. in different ways. But like, and it, but it feeds on like that. Like, you know, here's the thing. I feel like everyone's probably been in a road rage incident, right? No. You have, oh, you haven't. Yeah, you I have, swear. From never, Jersey, yep. you've never I've been. Never, road because rage. I'm a very polite driver. <laughs> <Yeah. and> I, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's that it feeds on that natural dark urge of being like you know wanting to you know you're like oh this person I just oh you know huh. it's it's great it's really it, it's so good Look, you got to watch it. Actually, I stand corrected. Let me tell you one thing that did happen. This was last year. We're driving. We you know we have a we have a. 
Well, I'm not going to tell you what kind of car we have in case you see me. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. You're the road rage. <laughs> right now. But we're driving along, and this guy kind of cuts us off. And it's a, it's a truck with a business name on it, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. So I call that number thinking it's probably the guy driving the truck, right? And he goes, uh, you know, hello, you know, whatever. Hey, is this uh, such and such business? I go, yeah. He goes, hey, um, that was very dangerous what you just did out there. He goes, oh, is this the, the little black car? I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, why don't you learn to drive? I go, whoa. I said, okay, that's that's inappropriate there, okay? So he goes, yeah, yeah, and he hangs up on me. So, like, we had an argument on the phone over the way that he was just driving. Now, hold on. You're telling me that when it says, like, how's my driving, you call that number? No, it's no, the- no. No, I, that wasn't. Uh, oh, no, okay. He I was going to say, I'm no, like, it was he, business name. He had like, his business name oh, on the truck. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, so I'm like why okay, does I'm it gonna- go to the person driving? <laughs> why you can't make the George's complaint? Like, Man, instant criticism. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, you know what? <laughs> I was gonna say, wow. yeah, no, that would never work. No, 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 not, it wasn't a house by driving. This guy had his business name on the truck, so I called it, and he answered. Cause it was like a one man business, I think, you know. So he's like, I, I was telling him, I didn't like the way you cut us off and everything. And he goes, Are you the one in the bl- black car? Yeah. Well, listen, why don't you learn to drive? Take some driving lessons. That might help. I go, whoa, whoa, dude, you know? Because I, I was saying it politely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he's giving me attitude. But see, you didn't go track this person down, did you? No, exactly I would not. That's right. not my style. No, I wouldn't. No, so, he probably complained about their business. On yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's so, it, it is. It's called beef. You got to watch. It's, it's so good. Like I said, it's, it, oh, man, they take ever, it so far. Do you ever notice if you're watching a lot of shows at once, this happens to me all the time. You'll forget what you're watching. Yes. You, you lose oh, yeah. track. You have to yeah. go back and watch a previous episode right, to figure out. Okay, right. let me plus catch my back wife up. has a habit of falling asleep while we watch shows. Mm. So I was like, and I'm like, are you awake? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm still going to watch this. And then after the show, the credits are rolling, she goes, oh, what happened? I go, this show, I have the show, I'd have to explain it to you. Well, okay, so it's even like a scientific fact. If you sit there and, even if, even if it's one show, you sit there and you binge it, you're not retaining everything you're seeing. Right, yeah, yeah. When right. you're just watching one episode after another episode, oh, and yeah. so on and so forth, you're not retaining what you've seen. So you're even just getting like watch, a 36,000 foot view of the series. So even right. if you decided, oh, in a couple months, I really enjoyed that series. I want to watch it again. You'll watch it go, I don't remember this. Yeah, you'll catch things you don't what, remember. What, yeah. What happened? What, right. I don't remember this. <clears throat> we, you know, it's crazy. We just watched, rewatched. All six seasons of The Sopranos. Oh, we just rewatched all the oh. seasons of Sons of Anarchy. It is. Oh. It was, but it, it was amazing because. And then my husband came home with a bike. I digress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there must there must have been episodes he of that out show of that we didn't see because I'm I'm like. I don't remember this. I do, so there must have been because it was like really big stuff too oh, yeah. that I would have remembered. Yeah. So. I can't tell you how many times I've we've like re my wife and I have watched The Office like thousands of <laughs> oh, yeah, times. Same. Yeah. Same. Here's another one for you. If you have Amazon Prime, The Man in the High Castle. I've heard that's good. It was so great. I think there were three, maybe four seasons. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. But the whole premise, it's an alternate history thing where Germany and Japan win World War II. They take over the United States. The Nazis, Germany, has like from, like they basically have the eastern part of the United States. Okay, so they kind of split it down the middle. Right. Japan has the western part, and then there's like a DMZ or, you know, Mm. neutral zone or whatever that kind of runs through Colorado in the middle of the country. And the whole thing, it's, it's, and then... There, there are sympathetic characters actually on both sides, even with the Germans and mm-hmm. the and the J- Japanese, mm-hmm. and there and s- suddenly like the realities start blending like ours with their. It's it's a it's one of those shows where you almost get angry that I can't believe I have to wait for another episode of this now. You mm-hmm. know, it was that it's that good. The man in the high castle. <clears throat> are all the episodes out now? Oh Can yeah. You, oh yeah, really? The, series yeah, well, is the whole done. series is done. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I highly recommend. It. I mean, and I'm a history buff. So to me, I'm watching this going, man, this is, I yeah. love alternate history. Like what ifs? What, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, what if, sure. what if Kennedy had not been assassinated? Mm-hmm. What if, you know, you know, that type of thing. What's a good show on Hulu too? It's got James Franco in it. it, it, it with, I'm trying to remember what it's called. I'm like, <gasps> oh, you know what I'm talking yes, about? In, oh, uh, man. It's, it's, uh, in 11 yeah, 11 yeah, mm-hmm. That's, That's it. it. That's Did it. you read the book? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Did you see the show? The no. series? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. It's a whole, yeah. Again. 
James Franco goes back yeah. in time to try to prevent the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. I, oh, I, my God. I, and, I tend so to not watch the show anymore if I've read the book. Just because I usually find it so disappointing. Yeah, I've heard it, that it'll, from people. Like yeah, under the dome, you know, they did this whole big series about. It. I'd read the book, mm-hmm. and within like the first episode, I'm like, that didn't happen. Right? Hey, th- that didn't. Ha- <laughs> yeah. this, I'm not watching this. This is garbage. You know, it, it makes me mad because it's like I invested all this time in a book. You can't even follow the book. It's Come terrible on. that they have to cut stuff like that sometimes. I like they, I mean, they have to for like, and I get it. If you're making a movie or a show, mm-hmm. and there's like, it's like so much that you're just like, how do I get this compacted in there? Have you ever seen a show like, let's say you're on Netflix and you go, oh, this looks interesting, okay, and you click on it, and you're like, maybe ten minutes into it, I go. I'll forget it. This is stupid. I'm not even going to bother with this nope, one. Nope, I'll be like, I'm invested. Oh, really? Yep. Man. Listen, listen, my wife, if she starts something, she has to absolutely has to. Even if she it. doesn't really like it, she's yeah. like, because otherwise <laughs> it'll, it'll be like in the continue watching, and she's like, got to get it out of that thing. You're, yep, you're, I've done you're it with TV books, Network so 3. Yeah, 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 I've done you. it with books. I've done it. That doesn't mean I'm going to leave it a great review. Yeah, no, yeah. but you're going to you're gonna stick with it, huh? How and there's, listen, there's times where she'll just fast forward through the whole thing just to get it out of the continue watching. Sure. And She's if like, you, get it if out you watch enough shows, after a while, this happens too. You're like, oh, that guy, he's in that show from, we've seen him. Oh, where do we see him? From? Oh, yeah, we do that all the time. That too. will drive me oh, crazy. Yeah. That's why I sit with my phone in front of me while no, I'm watching he's TV. In- Dude, that's what Amazon does so well. Let's IMDb I love the, this guy. The X-ray vision that it has, like when you pause, yeah. it's yeah. just it's there. It, like it has the IMDb. It's like yeah. here's the people, here's what they F- were Amazon in. Amazon like, Prime, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it's that so X-ray. Well, that's well right. we just started on Peacock, uh, the Continental, which is in the John Wick universe. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, I finally just saw John Wick. By the way, the first one. I know. You, Only the first one. We got to catch up. I know. Yeah, finally. Um, but it's based in the seventies. And like right now, I co- we kind of thought it was going to be more about the hotel itself, mm-hmm. you know, the one where the, all the assassins. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, go, you know. But um, so far, it's it's not it's not like that at all. It's it's good. Are it's you enjoying it? I am. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> you like continental? You like which is shows. also an old dance, by the way. Yep, you would know that. <laughs> I don't know. I remember I my like mother, the John Wick my mother talking about it. Kevin might have invented it. <laughs> <laughs> the dance. The I remember my mother talking about the Continental. <laughs> Are we talking Continental breakfast from like a... <laughs> That's the kind of Continental yeah. we're familiar with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, another one I highly recommend, The Chosen, okay? Uh, oh, I think heard, yeah. it is available on Netflix yeah, I now, think so. I as think a matter so. of fact. But it's it's the... Story of Jesus and his disciples, but here's the thing: Jonathan Rumi plays Jesus, mm-hmm. and, and and but so much of it. I mean, like, yes, it is about him, but so much of it is about the apostles, the disciples, and like their relationship with each other, mm-hmm. and like they're just like they're like regular guys, and they're idiots, and they're you know they they make stupid mistakes. And, you know, because maybe we look at them and go, oh, these, these noble guys were following Jesus. Yeah. yeah. No, man, they were like regular guys who fought and, and got jealous and, and everything else. Yeah. But there's so much of that. But but the thing is, it's true to the scriptures. I mean, it follows. And they're, they're coming out with season four real soon mm-hmm. uh, of The Chosen. But, man, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. Do you like game shows? We're watching the floor. The floor. The floor. Yeah. So, so there's this it, Rob Lowe. It's like it's new, it's newish, but it's uh, I think it's been out for like a year. It's called the Traders. It's incredible. I just had a friend tell traders me about that. Traders as in it's, D or T? It's T. The it, traders. It's like traders. People from all over so, yeah, the so world. They get, and they're yeah, like in a castle or yes, something. Yes, they get and, people from all yeah. over. And sometimes it's like it's celebrities even. Like so they, they right? get there's like normal people and celebrities with each other. And um, what they do is so there's a couple of traders out of this whole group. And the whole point is you're winning money, but these everyone gets to vote out who they think is like the traitor mm-hmm. of, of like the group. And, but if there's anyone at the end of the game that gets a traitor that's left, the traitors get all the money, so they they get everything. So, but it's up for like everyone to vote. It's so good. It, like people like start going against each other, think like innocent people like like of the game are like thinking they're traitors what and they're not. Is this on? Uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember. I think you might be able to watch it on Netflix or something. Okay. I, I can't exactly remember 100. percent Traitors. But okay. It's called the Traitors. Well, it's how, really how good. How does one like, uh, you know, commit treason against somebody? Like, how do you? So what's so, the game? So the game is so. Um, the, 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 the host gets to choose like the traders. So mm-hmm. there's two to start with. And then like they, they kind of, they give the traders, um, or even the innocent. Well, it's like the flu, they go around and they touch somebody else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they worm their way they're into marked relationships as the traitor. Like they get these, um, 
the host like slides like an envelope underneath like at nighttime when everyone's yeah. asleep uh. and like and like the traders will get like the envelope so they know that they're a trader it's like <sighs> meet me at this location at like you know midnight mm. and they go there and they, they have this like little meeting together yeah. and they, but what they all are trying to do is like sabotage like everyone else's plans so like if someone starts getting uh, like oh oh man uh, I think it's Chris Chris is the trader and then like the other trader will have to try to help that like say that person is a trader right. that person will try to like redirect people to think it's someone else but they the whole part of like they're just trying to sabotage everybody it's, it's and they almost, play games and stuff like a, that it's too. on it's peacock it's yeah peacock a, that's it it's almost a twist on survivor mm -hmm. in yes. a way the way some kind people of. play survivor yeah you yeah know? it's yeah it's wow. kind of good guys and bad that. guys and, yeah, yeah yeah but it's really good and they wow. and they tip some innocent people to also become traders as well it's super cool. wow it's, it, you gotta you gotta check it out so the, the one on peacock yeah. is the uk version apparently there's a ton of other yeah, I've, I've seen well. that. I've seen that. Yeah. You ever seen British versions of shows that we like here, and then you watch the, the office, British one? The British Office yeah. is awful. I, don't, uh, yeah. I just don't and, get it. And so is Ghosts. If you've ever watched Ghosts oh, on it's CBS, a show. it's a really good show. The British version is like, yeah, because it started again. A lot of our shows started on that side of the pond, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I think in a lot of ways we improve them. Maybe it's just because we're Americans. We think that, but well, I think British humor is just it's very dry. Oh it's yeah, very, yeah. You know, yeah. That's why yeah. I love Monty Python. Yeah. But I'm a big Python hit. Well, not every show can be Monty Python. <laughs> no, <it's true. laughs> that. And now for something completely different. Exactly. Okay, so out of all of those shows that everybody recommended, what's your top pick? If you're telling somebody, okay, you should watch this show right now, one show, go. Jordan, you Taking go. Taking too I long, to Kevin. About it. Oh, man, I don't know. I, they're all so good, to be honest, but if I... I mean, okay, like if you're really into action, like you, like, that's kind of your thing. It's got to be, it's got to be Reacher. That it's really good. Also, just because it's a great story. Right. Well, and, and if we're if we're talking, okay, I, I mean, Reacher's great. If we're talking any sh Breaking Bad, if you've never seen Breaking Bad, you didn't we just bring that I know I did <laughs> because just I don't know about. what the parameters were of just, shows that we're talking. Well, I'm telling you yes. what we just talked All about. Of the, the ones shows we, we just mentioned. About yeah. Reacher, I have to agree with Reacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hands down, I'm going with Love on the Spectrum. I yeah. Am. Just because as far as, with all the super trashy reality shows, and yes, mm. I've watched them all. <laughs> this one is just, it's kind of like Great British Bake Off. It's so pure. That's it's so one, wholesome. Yeah. You know, you you do have your, your kind of, you laugh at some parts, kind of cringe because you feel bad and others. And then, yeah, I'll I'll find myself tearing up because I'll be like, oh, they found somebody. This is the greatest thing. You know, <laughs> it's it gets, it's just all the good feels. Yeah, yeah. It is. I'm telling you, and just they're just so pure at heart. Yes. So, just... so what if he wants to wear capes? Exactly. <laughs> and collect. Swords. I want James to find love. <laughs> Dang the, it. the wedding that 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 guy's gonna have, amazing. Can you imagine like a fantasy <laughs> castle? Like well, that would be girl, awesome. He, he immediately he took her to like a, a Renaissance fair, and I'm like, yes, that's yeah. amazing. His yeah. Element. Are you that's kidding date, me, man? That's yes. a date right there. Let me tell you. Yeah. But uh, again, that's a nerd saying that right here. So you know, that's, that's so um, awesome. Renaissance well, fairs are so, what, so what's a show that you love? What's something that you're maybe you're watching now or you, or you finished or you're in the middle of or what? Uh, let us know, you know, wherever you get your podcasts now. For the most part, we're still working on some of those details, I guess, but you can get the cat cast and, uh, share, share, uh, share a thought with us. It's Mail Zimmer, M-A-I-L Zimmer at yeah, you just did it backwards. I just screwed it up. All right. It's, cat country at mailzimmer.com. That's right. See? There you go. I haven't worked here long enough to know my own email. It's okay. It's cat country at mailzimmer.com. That's right. <laughs> Shoot us a note. Tell us what you're watching. And uh, there you go. It's another another cat cast in the can. You've been listening to the cat cast. Your weekly dose of fun from the staff you know and love on 94.3 Cat Country. Click subscribe and never miss an episode. Share it on social media and tell your friends with 94.3 Cat Country.